This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video we will cover vertex editing and the terrain brush. So vertex editing means that you can basically take one vertex or more of your brush and actually drag them and move them around so that you start with a basic primitive shape and then change it into something more complex. So I'm just going to give you a couple of examples here. First of all, let's just take a normal brush. Let's take this one here. And I'm going to turn on all of the real-time previews so you can see what happens. So let me move these into position. In camera mode, which is your default mode, what you can do is first of all, click on your red brush so that it's highlighted. And then in any window that you want to, you can come in and then left click on an actual vertex. So remember, we're in camera mode here. So I click on one and now you will see if I zoom in that there's a little X mark on that particular vertex. And then when I come into another view, let's say this one, and I zoom in a lot, you can see that little X there as well. So that vertex is selected. Now all you need to do is hold down the Alt key and left mouse button onto that vertex and then just drag. So let me drag it up this much. So now you see I now have this complex shape because all I've done is I've basically lifted one vertex up. Then if I wanted to, I could take this other one here, as you can see, click on that one. And there you can see in this view here, how it's got the little X on it, hold down the Alt key and drag that one up too. There. So there's my final shape and then I can just subtract this out and there it is. There's a trapezoid here and that was done by vertex editing in the camera mode. So the next one I want to show you, let's take the rectangular brush and we'll get a new one over here. So here we're starting again with a cube brush and this time instead of dragging one vertex and then dragging another one, I like to do them both at the same time. So you come up here, instead of camera mode, you click on this button in the left toolbar, which is called Vertex Editing Mode. And you can see how my cursor has changed. It looks different now. So here's where you have to get your camera into position. And I'm going to come in real close uh, there. And you can see there are two vertices that are right next to each other. These are the ones that I want. Then I got to come to the right camera view, which is this one. Okay, so you can see how this camera view is what I'm seeing right now. And now what you need to do is you need to, you're going to make like a, a rectangle around that vertex. So here it's different. You have to do, you have to hold down Control, Alt, and the left mouse button and drag a rectangle. So here I go, I drag the rectangle. And now you can see that these two vertices are white and the other ones are not. So that means I selected the right ones. Now in this view, which is where I did the rectangle, I hold down control, I left click on that vertex and drag it up to the same spot like I did last time. It's a bit uh, fidgety. And there you go. So this time I have changed two vertices at the same time and now I can hit subtract and get the same, exactly the same result. In camera mode, you can only move one vertex at a time, but in vertex editing mode, if you line them up properly, you can do multiple vertices at the same time and of course, you have to make sure you're in the right viewport when you do your rectangular, what I call a lasso, but your rectangular selection of the vertices.
So the next part that's related to vertex editing is the terrain brush. So the terrain brush is here, as you can see, in the left-hand menu. And the first thing you need to do is you have to right-click on it to see the properties. This here will be the total amount of space that your terrain will start off with. Now remember, with vertex editing, you'll be able to move vert vertices around so you can change the shape and all that. But at the beginning, let's start with the sort of the playing area that you think you'll need for your outdoor terrain. I'm going to start probably 1024 and then for the width and the breadth let's go 2048. The next two pieces that you need to worry about are how many segments do you want to split this up? The more segments you do, then the more work it's going to be on the Unreal Engine to render your map. But the more you do, the better your terrain is going to look. So you have to do that trade-off and figure out how much time you want to spend. And just so you know, the official maps uh, have really crazy terrain brushes. So there's probably going to be a lot of segments in those ones. So just to start off, let's go really easy with 4x4. Four four. So four segments by four segments. Click on Build, and there is what you will see. Let me highlight it. So why does this brush look like this? Well, it's because they're intending you to subtract this brush, not to add it, to subtract it. And imagine that these walls, this wall, these four walls, and this ceiling will be your sky. And then you are taking each of these vertices and lifting them up to make your terrain. Now this is going to be a lot of work because already, as you can see, I've got a four by four. So that's 16 segments that I have to move around. And that's where the vertex editing comes in because if I come up to line up my camera this way like that I want to be able to select all of these in one shot so I have to find the right camera angle which is this one here I switch to vertex editing mode Ho hold down control alt left click drag my rectangle so it meets this, this vertex here and there you go. So now you can see that all of these ones turned white. Now, if I were to lift that one, let me just do that. Control, left click. I'm going to move them all at the same time. I'm going to move it right up. So there you see. So I still will have to individually move every vertex but at least I've done a good little job there and I want to do the same thing on this side as well move my camera here so that I've got them all in my view these ones here come here to the proper spot which is this one, this one here control alt left click drag a rectangle see how they all turn white now we control left click drag them all up at the same time so already my terrain is starting to take a little bit of shape but as you can see here four segments is not enough because now there's really not much I could do. I suppose I could go into camera mode, take this one vertex here. I've got to click on it so that it gets the X. Now I can come up here, hold down the Alt key, left mouse button, move that up a little bit. So I have a little bit of a hill there. So this is really not terribly exciting. Let me just move one more so you can see select it first so that's red left click on it move that one up by holding down alt there you go now you subtract the whole thing 
So I have this sort of very makeshift cliff here, cliff here. These pieces here are the wall, so you have to do something about that. And then I have a little tiny hill here, and another little hill here. I agree this is a crappy terrain, but you get the idea. You will need to increase the number of segments in your terrain so you can make more realistic terrain with cliffs and a valley and then maybe a little river or something running through, just as an example. You'll need to increase the number of segments and you will need to balance between using camera mode, which means you will move one vertex at a time, versus vertex editing mode where you can grab a whole bunch of vertices that are in your view and move them up at the same time. In any case, it's going to be a lot of work, so I recommend you take a look at the official maps to see what they've done to try to minimize the number of segments.